It was 40 years ago that the first cell phone call was made. Before this, there were car phones. They functioned more like radios. But the first call from a handheld cell phone came in 1973. Who made it? This man, Martin Cooper, general manager of Motorola Communication Systems Division. Whom did he call? His chief competitor at Bell Labs. There weren't any other cell phones then, so he dialed through to a landline. Bell Labs had first proposed the idea of a cellular system in 1947 and was working to create the first network. When did cell phones hit the market? That wasn't until 1984. The Dynatac phone offered 30 minutes of talk time. This is AC's guidance counselor at Bayside. Zach Morris, the character from Saved by the Bell, was always getting in trouble with Principal Belding for using it at school. It also became a symbol of ostentatious luxury enjoyed by the likes of Gordon Gecko and Wall Street. What came next? Other models and manufacturers emerged. Then presidential candidate Bill Clinton used one during his 1992 campaign. The same year, the 2G network was introduced, allowing for text messaging. By 1999, Finland's Nokia was the leader in the market, selling 79 million mobile phones worldwide. A lead it kept until 2012. When did it get sleek? The Motorola Razr introduced in 2004 broke through as the hot new clamshell or flip phone. The competition to make cell phones stylish was on. When did they get smart? The vast communication possibilities of cell phones beyond just gabbing became clear with the BlackBerry. It started out as a texting device in 1999, but became a souped-up cell phone in 2003, boasting of email and internet access. Four years later, Steve Jobs introduced Apple's new iPhone, and the rest, as they say, is history. That's the short answer.